Is real country music dead? We're going to talk about it. Y'all, is real country music dead? Do you remember the song, uh, it was Alan Jackson and King George Strait? Murder on Music Row. That song tells a perfect story of real country music. It's got a line in it, someone killed country music and for that they should hang. I couldn't agree more. They all should hang until their eyes pop out of their heads. They have took away the thing that most country fans love and that's real country music. Nobody seen the killers, but we know exactly who it was. It was the music executives on Music Row trying to hold out for that almighty dollar. But in the process, they killed country music. I remember back at my favorite real country music stars. You got Dottie West, Loretta Lynn, Carl Smith, Ernest Tubb. I mean... The list goes on and on, but Dottie West, Don't Build Me No Paper Mansions, was one of her biggest hits. Here Comes My Baby Back Again was another big hit. Oh my God, she had hit after hit after hit. And I love Dottie West. And I'll tell you why. Every time I hear Dottie... Every time I hear Dottie West sing, I hear my sister. I'm sorry, y'all. But my sister could do Dottie West better than Dottie West could. Then you got Loretta Lynn. You got Carl Smith. You got Ernest Tubb. I've seen Ernest Tubb, I think, about five times in person. The man is awesome. He could put on a show. You see him on stage at the Grand Ole Opry or whatever, and you say, this is just an old man. He's still living out his dream. He's more than an old man on stage. He is a powerhouse. He could put on a show that would rival even Garth Brooks. Today's country music singers, the males anyway, all you see is them wearing their sister's pants. Their pants are so tight, sounds like somebody is squeezing their ass and they can't get their words out. They all sound alike. They all, all of their music sounds alike. There's no identification. If you just hear them on the radio and don't see them, there's no identification. You don't know who it is until the announcer says who it was singing. Is, it's a cookie cutter process that they have in Nashville right now. And they're just stamping out, stamping out more commercial friendly singers. There is a lot of country music singers on Music Row in Nashville that wants to record the real traditional country music. But the murdering music executives won't let them. I remember a few years back, Darius Rucker said that his next album was going to be a tribute album to the female singers of real country music like Kitty Wells, Loretta Lynn, Dolly Parton, Tammy Wynette. He was going to do his version of their songs in an album. It never happened the music executives wouldn't let it happen. Again, all they worry about is that almighty dollar. And can any of them really sing anymore without auto-tuning? Back in the day, they didn't have auto-tuning. They didn't need it because these stars could, these stars could sing. They knew their craft and they honed it every day. Even when they wasn't on tour, they were still singing every day. Somebody told me in my comments over on one of my other shows, they know that I can't sing anymore on kind of the cancer that I had. 
they said, why don't you try auto-tuning? And I told them, auto-tuning is not the problem. It's the pain that I have when I try to sing. But even if auto-tuning was the problem, I would not try that garbage a bit because I like to think of stars, singers, as art artists. And what is so being an artist if you got to have a machine to fix your voice because it sucks that bad? So, is country music dead today? I would say yes. Country music died back in the 80s. And sadly, I don't see it coming back. But the thing that we got to be thankful for is we still got our VHS tapes. We still got our albums. We still got our 45s. We still got our cassette tapes. And we can pop them in and listen to them and watch them anytime we want to. Y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. I could not tell you a single star on today's country radio because I don't listen to it. I hadn't listened to it in years. I have Sirius Radio in the car, so I listen to Willie's Roadhouse most of the time. And then when I'm at home, I look up the songs I want to hear on YouTube. So therefore, I don't have to be bombarded with that crazy, watered-down pop country music. And let me ask you, who ever thought about putting rap in country music? That person needs to be hung. And once he's, his body quits breathing, he don't need to come down off of that rope. He needs to stay there until his body completely dries up and shrivels away. There is nothing makes me more angry than rap music. I just want to punch somebody in the throat when I hear that stuff. You wonder what's wrong with the world today? Check the lyrics of rap music. So country music is dead, but we can make it live on in our memories and the music that we choose to play at home. Y'all, I mentioned Ernest Tubb earlier. I can make a whole video about Ernest Tubb. I love that man so much. Like I said, I've seen him four, five, six times in person. I can't remember. But he was a totally awesome man. And he let you know he loved the fact that you was there. He appreciated you. That's something the stars don't do today. All they do is run back and forth across the stage screaming and throwing stuff out in the audience and busting guitars I mean that's not country music that's a clown show y'all I miss real country music it's what I grew up on I remember one time in the third grade I got in trouble in school because I was singing country music in class and I wouldn't stop so they sent me to the dean's office I don't care Y'all, I love you all. Please subscribe to the channel, Inside Real Country Music. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, let's keep it country, y'all. Ciao.